Hello friends, welcome back to the art room with Mr. Eck. Today we have a pretty tough challenge. Today we are going to be learning how to... Stop that. We are going to be learning how to draw hands. Hands are very tricky because they have a lot of moving parts and depending on what angle you look at them, they completely change how you would draw them. So today we're just going to do like a quick intro into hand drawing. We're going to show you how to draw the um, the open hand, like the palm, the back of the hand. And then I also want to show you how to draw like a fist, which is also great for showing how to uh, hold something. So we're going to tackle those uh, topics in this video and that will give you a good start on how to draw a human hand. So let's get right to it. All right, so get your paper and your pencil and let's get started. So first off, the open palm hand, that's like the, you know, your open hand on the inside. Uh, the hand is kind of square shaped, just basically. So start with a uh, light uh, square. And then let's go ahead and have the, the wrist coming off of it. The wrist is usually, um, like my thumb's going to be over here, so usually the uh, wrist kind of meets up on the opposite side from the thumb. And then go ahead and let's look at that thumb. So the thumb kind of comes off of here. And it curves back down here like this. And then for I like to start with the, and you're probably laughing at this, the middle finger because the middle finger is an extension of the uh, wrist. So whichever way the wrist is going, the middle finger goes the same direction. And then the pointer finger is a little bit shorter and points off to the right a little bit. The ring finger is also a little bit shorter but points off a little to the left. And then pinky finger is the smallest and points even more to the left. So that's the basic hand. Usually there's like uh, a muscle that kind of goes like this that imitates the other uh, muscle that attaches to the thumb. And let's go ahead and uh, erase these lines that are separating. I'm going to leave them up here because we do have lines uh, where our fingers meet. Also if you look at my hand, there's three sections to every finger. One, two, three. 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 So that's very important to remember when you're drawing fingers. So I'm going to put some light lines here. So each finger should have two lines to where the finger creases and that will help it look more realistic. A little bit of a line that kind of comes in by the wrist like that. And there you have it. That's a basic open hand. You can also put some lines through here if you want to but that's getting kind of picky. This is just kind of an intro into hand drawing. Now let's show the back of the hand. So I'm going to go back to my square shape for the hand. And this time the thumb is going to be facing this way. So that means the wrist comes off the opposite side. So this time the thumb thumb goes inside the hand shape on the open palm, but on the back, it, uh, it doesn't do that. So I'm just going to end it there. Again, I like to start with the middle finger because it lines up the same direction as the wrist, and then go ahead and add those other fingers so you don't get in trouble and your parents are like, what are you drawing? Pointer finger is a little bit shorter than the middle finger, and the ring finger is a little bit shorter, points off to the right. As you get on either side of the middle finger, the fingers go the uh, opposite direction. So like this uh, pointer finger points more this way, the ring finger points more to the left. And of course the little pinky, don't forget about him. And then there are kind of knobs called knuckles. that go at the base of the fingers. Go ahead and erase this line. Alright, 
Now, let's uh, talk about fingernails. Let's zoom in here a li little bit. So with fingernails, they are a little bit rounded, uh, facing towards the hand, and they're usually flat at the end. So flat, and then meet up with the rounded bottom of the nail. Of course, we can only see about half of the thumbnail. Um, the only other thing I want to cover is these kind of wrinkles here where the fingers bend on the other side. I just usually do a couple of little lines like this. To show where the finger bends. Go over your outline and you're good to go with your back of your hand. All right, so let's move on to a fist. So here's how you draw a fist. Of course, there's all different angles, but let's just uh, I'm gonna do it coming in from the side. For some reason, that just feels right. So here's my wrist, and then the fist. Go ahead and do that square. I like to work off that square and then build it from there. So first off, when you make a fist, do it like this. I need to zoom out. Okay. So you got half of your hand is showing here, and then you've got your fingers curl up and fill up all the other half, and your thumb tucks on top of it. So I like to do the thumb first so that I don't have to erase it later. So go up and down, curve around like that, make sure I'm doing this right. There's some lines there. So now the thumb will be on top, and then the fingers curl around and if you just want to make some like long ovals that will work make sure that middle finger is the uh, largest finger the pointer finger and the ring finger are about the same size and then the little pinky goes down here how you make a fist. You want to add those uh, those bendy lines where the fingers bend. And let's see, can we see the, can't really see the fingernails very well. So I'm just going to put like the lines where the hand bends. can't see the thumbnail, so let's put that thumbnail in there. All right. And then the only thing you have to change if you're going to have that hand holding something is you have to move the fingers out. Let me show you what I mean. So we got the wrist coming in. We draw our square for the hand. Start right here in this corner. Go up and down for the thumb because the thumb's still going to wrap around whatever it is you're holding. Your person, character, whatever is holding. these unnecessary lines because they're just confusing me. Alright, uh, let's say it's a, let's, let's make them hold something funny like a plunger. So at this point I like to go ahead and draw the, the object so I know how far my hand, my fingers need to stick out. Draw that plunger. Now this could easily be a, like a, a ninja sword or a bouquet of flowers, like whatever you need it to be. Alright, now comes the uh, finishing part which is adding the fingers. So I'm just going to do the same thing as the same shape as the fingers from the fist, but I'm just going to move them this way. So the hand curls around 
and doesn't go all the way back to the hand because uh, the plunger would take up some room. They do those kind of oval shapes for the fingers. Erase the lines in there, inside the fingers. Add those bendy lines from where the fingers bend, make it look realistic. And that is how you make your character hold something. So I think that's a good start. We've got uh, four different hands to practice drawing today. Maybe another day we will um, tackle some other positions, but I think this is a good start. I wasn't planning on doing any more poses uh, than, than what I've already shown you, but I had a special request from a fifth grader to um, show how to draw hands like if you're drawing a person like from the front, what what are the hands looking like like by their sides. So since I had a special request, I did want to um, offer that as well. So uh, if you don't have time for all these different hands in class, just uh, do the ones that you can get to. But if you have extra time, let's go ahead and try these as well. So if you're looking at a person and they're like standing, facing you, like so, what do their hands do? So that sketch is just to show you like the kind of person. So like what is this hand doing if the person is just standing there? So to zoom in, to start with the, uh, the wrist. And then it's kind of a uh, the thumb comes down like this. So that's the main thing you see. And there's those lines and the fingernail. And then the rest of the hand just kind of tucks in behind it. So you go further past the thumb, and then that's where the knuckles go. And then the pointer finger is the one you see most, so go like this. And we're, uh, remember the fingers have three parts. So there's the first part, and then you bend a little bit, and then turn the finger. And there's the second part, and then the third part, like that. And then the other hands kind of bend in behind it. So you don't really see them very much. You can kind of see them coming out past the thumb. I'm looking at a picture for reference like that, or if the hand is just straight, do the thumb like this, come down further, there's the knuckles, and they could just have their hand straight like that, and then you just show a little bit of the, uh, the other fingers behind it. And that would work alright. And if you wanted the hand to be uh, clenched in a fist, at the wrist, this is a little bit different. You still have the uh, that kind of bulge area that where the uh, the front of the first part of the thumb is, and then the thumb is shortened because it's bending like that. So that, put that line there to show it's one of these creases in the thumb. And then again, the, the hand goes past the thumb, and then there's the knuckle. And then the fingers are going to be wrapped up real tight. So we're going to do those three parts of the fingers again. The first part goes this way, and then it goes back in towards the fist, so for the second part. And then the third part is kind of tucked in there. Lines help show that it's tight. And then you can do just a little bit of the next knuckle. And well, you can see that the other fingers are there too. They're just kind of tucked in behind. That gives you some idea.
Well, here you have it. Here is our four different uh, hand poses that we're doing today. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make hands. Um, it is very challenging, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. That's my best advice I can give you as an art teacher is just practice. The more you draw, the easier it will get and the more fun you'll have doing it. So uh, good job with uh, following along and thanks for giving me a hand. I will see you next time.